We came up with the name Green Bench Brewing Company because we wanted to pay respect to the city we came from. We wanted it to be uniquely St. Petersburg in our name. I'm Nathan Stonecipher and I'm the co-owner of Green Bench Brewing Company. Back in the early 1900s, the city of St. Petersburg used to be known as the city of Green Benches and it's because we had over 2,500 of them downtown that all look the exact same, similar to this. My name is Chris Johnson. I'm the head brewer at Green Bench Brewing Company. Today for our grand opening here at Green Bench Brewing Company, we have 15 taps uh, currently pouring in our tasting room, uh, nine of which were brewed, actually 10 of which were brewed actually here in the facility, um, six of which are actually collaborations with local breweries. The beers that we started with, um, I would say our Green Bench Session IPA, it's a low alcohol, extremely hot forward beer. Um, the concept for a lot of our beers is that we can have low alcohol beers, things that you can session and drink all day long. We also do malt forward beers. Uh, we have a stout that tastes like coffee and also we're huge fans of Belgian beers, sour fermentation um, and 100% oak fermentation. I actually really like the Sergeant Pfeffer. I think it's a really unique flavor and uh, different than anything I've had. With Cigar City Brewing, we actually brewed a beer uh, at Cigar City. Um, it's called Sergeant Pfeffer. This beer is actually based off, based off of a Dutch cookie called a Pfeffer News. Uh, the characteristics of that cookie are kind of graham cracker flavors, gingerbread notes, um, and they actually a lot of times use peppercorn in it. I didn't really know what to expect. Uh, you know, I knew it was going to be a beer place, obviously. Uh, I figured they probably have some good beers, and uh, I just wanted to check it out, but I didn't realize they had this, uh, this setup outside. the Green Bench St. Debonk Fair. It's a low alcohol, uh, sessionable farmhouse sale, only about 3% alcohol. But interestingly enough, we used a Belgian strain that's a house strain for them uh, that actually has Britannomyces bruxellinus in it. Then to take it a step further, we actually keg condition it with Britannomyces lambicus. So it's tons of Britannomyces flavors, which is a wild yeast strain, gives you notes of, although this may sound weird, it's delicious. Uh, barnyard, sort of funky horse blanket notes, really rustic, think petting zoo. I'm drinking the uh, Green Bench IPA. I would say our Green Bench Session IPA. It's a low alcohol, extremely hop aggressive beer. About four and a half percent. Um, tons of uh, hop aroma, grapefruit, pine, citrus notes. Uh, really bitter on the finish and that kind of lingers for a while. My philosophy for brewing, I would say, is that uh, make great beer. Bench Brewing is a, uh, it's a statement, it's a, it's a way of life. It's a sit down, relax, and have a beer. Hi, I'm Stephen Duffy, co-owner of Green Bench Brewing Company. <laughs> for me, the grand opening and for Green Bench having its doors open was all about putting smiles on people's faces who we live next door to in this community. And that's what I've seen here today. The best is yet to come. This is just the beginning. This is just the start, the first month. There are many, many more things to come. We have some crazy ideas for the future, and that's the real exciting part for us, is that this is just the starting line. We haven't even gotten close to the finish line. 